Well, hello everybody. Thanks for watching my video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Andy, also known as Don Andres. But don't call me that. <laughs> that was just some marketing thing. It's, it's better for branding, but I'm not comfortable with people calling me Don Andres. So in today's video, three things to be aware of while in Acapulco. Wait, what? And why young travelers go elsewhere was basically inspired because all my friends, most everybody I know, do go elsewhere, young and old. There are so many beautiful places, not only here in Acapulco, but throughout Mexico. And this is the reason why these videos have come about. I'm gonna explore, share, and show where to go, what to do, what to spend, and all that stuff. There are some details that I need to lay out why young travelers do go to Cancun, Cabo, and lately, Tijuana. All great places, but there are some places that cannot be ignored any longer. So, without further ado, engage. So this year, Rosie brought her boyfriend, JP, and JP made a comment. He says, yeah, there's nobody here my age. He's a young man, and he's absolutely right. Why is it that young folk go to Cancun in Ac Acapulco? And this is what we'll be talking about today. You know, back in the 40s, jet setters used to come here, all the movie stars, from John Wayne to John Kennedy. During the 1960s and 1970s, it was still a very popular place. In the 1990s, Spring Breakers came to Acapulco regularly. Then the crime wave hit and the media sensationalized the crime to the point to where nobody came to Acapulco but Mexicans from Mexico City. As of late, there's been a resurgence. There's been a lot of money infused into the city and I'm gonna to talk today about what they need to do even more so to bring back young vacationers to Acapulco. Okay, so I hope I was able to share some light as to reasons why people go elsewhere, valid reasons, things that need to change. So let's get to the three things that people must be aware of while in Acapulco. Numero uno. Watch where you're going. There are so many holes, holes in the sidewalk, in the major sidewalk on the Costera. That's the one with the car park over. <laughs> That's amazing. Whoa. Anybody needs to step? Look at that. Watch your step. Stepping off the bus right into a pit. Right into a hole. <laughs> Acapulco, if you're listening, there are a lot of senior citizens walking up and down the Costera and these people are vulnerable. Anybody who's not paying attention is vulnerable to step in these holes. Check it out. Number two, while transportation is plentiful, when you hop on a bus, if it's a disco bus, Do not get on one of these buses driven by a millennial. And numero tres, and this is one I fall for all the time. You're at a restaurant or you're eating with some local friends and they say this to you. Pruébalo, no pica, en serio, pruébalo. Andy, it's not hot. <laughs> Don't fall for it. Sample first, little sample. It's much better to burn the tip of your tongue than to get a mouthful of magma. <laughs> I'm just saying. So here it is. The main reason why young travelers don't come to Acapulco anymore. It's why is it no longer a destination for spring breakers? So I did a little homework and uh, pardon me if I read from some notes, but it's all about flights. I did some comparisons, flights from the United States to Cancun and here in Acapulco. I started with California, where I'm coming from. If you're taking a flight from the center of, of California, you're gonna have to pay a lot more money and you're gonna have to have more stops to Acapulco. Why? I don't get it. So, 
from Central California, where I'm from, to Cancun will cost you $400. That's gonna be one stop. That same airport in Central California to Acapulco is gonna cost you close to $200 more. Two stops, 11 and a half stinking hours. That's a no-brainer, right? If you're browsing through flights and you have one stop versus two and 11 and a half, that's a whole day, which is what I experienced when I traveled to Acapulco. So let's try another airport. Let's take Dallas, for example. Dallas to Cancun, $280. That's a non-stop flight, folks, under three hours long. That same airport, Dallas to Acapulco, the same price, $280, which I was surprised. If I lived in Dallas, I'd be real happy to go to both Cancun and Acapulco. But that Acapulco flight, one stop, 11 hours. Again, I, I, so I don't know if it's the Acapulco government or the airlines or both, but why is it? Why is it that Acapulco doesn't get the same uh, non-stop flights as Cancun? If you're thinking you're saving money on flights, you know, think again to Cancun, the price of your expenses are gonna be a lot more because you're spending American prices than in Acapulco. For example, my hotel, the Fiesta Americana, there's a restaurant that I frequent almost every morning. This morning, I ordered pancakes, a side of bacon, and orange juice. I know it's not very Mexican, but that's what I was craving. I spent 75 pesos for that plate, which amounts to $3.90. And I'm on the main tourist, the costera, they call it. I challenge anybody in Cancun to find a breakfast equal or cheaper to on the main touristy road. I don't know, Acapulco has a brand new airport. I don't understand why there aren't better flights here. I don't know who to talk to, who to write to, but if you have any comments on the situation, please drop me a line. There's a lot of business to be made by the airlines and this city. If you can just see eye to eye, get the stars to align, get some flights that are direct, cheaper to Acapulco. Okay, so I'm here with Rafa Zapata, my new friend, my new amigo from uh, Mexico. He's the owner and proprietor of the condo that I'm staying in. Is this a condo or an apartment? Yeah, it's, it's a condo and we have like uh, hotel services, cleaning up and all the stuff and we have a bar. Uh, the name is Villas Luna Marina. We are in Airbnb, in booking.com, TripAdvisor. And I'll be sure to put that in the description below. Yesterday we were talking about why young people mm -hmm. don't come here anymore and what are your thoughts on that? Why is that? Well, I, I think uh, most of all it's the media that it's telling uh, most uh, outside to the foreign people that it's really dangerous here, that every day there is killing people and, uh, and that's not true. Uh, maybe in the mountains sometimes, but here in the Costera, here in the in the main streets and, and in this neighbor, for example, we don't have any kind of those, those troubles. But the media, to have more uh, audience, they make it super laddie or they make it really uh, bad what it's a little thing. Yeah. I think that's why the, the, the young people aren't coming here. Do you have any ideas on how we can change that? Well, I think this this is one really good idea uh, because uh, the independent media can say the truth and uh, normally the paid media or the Mexican and CBS, NBC, every, every um, uh, change, every network um, earn money having bad news because I don't know why, but people love bad news. If and when that day comes when the new travelers come back to Acapulco, what, what do they do here? Well, we have a lot of stuff. We have two lagoons where you can do any kind of uh, water sport. You can do windsurf, you can do uh, water ski. You can go only on a boat to, to get a, a tour. The lagoons are really big. One is Coyuca, that is uh, in Pie de la Cuesta. It's a really big lagoon. And uh, the other one is Tres Palos, that is in the other side of the bay. Um, you have the bay. Uh, you can do any kind of water sport there, parachute, sailing, uh, water sailing, uh, jet, fishing, uh, diving, uh, 
you can do we have in front of here we have the island La Roqueta uh, you can do hiking there uh, you can do snorkeling uh, you, well you can be here a month and, and you can do uh, a different thing every day really it's it's amazing and our nightlife it's really amazing too we have really good bars restaurants and clubs and they're safe as well yes of course of course well uh, if you are at the costera and uh, in the in the clubs or right in the costera are safe of course if you maybe if you go into the mountain outside Acapulco maybe you're gonna see a bad neighbor and uh, and you're gonna see bad things that really uh, people getting drunk on the street and uh, maybe selling drugs something like that but it's not in Acapulco it's in the outside like you have to go away by boat like 25 maybe 30 minutes maybe one hour to get to all that neighbors that it's around and maybe they're dangerous but it's like every place in the world they have good neighbors good neighborhoods and bad neighborhoods i i think it's in all all over the world a lot of information in such a short time <laughs> yes 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 no, you're very welcome and everybody it's really invited to come to Acapulco. It's really amazing. You're gonna love it. So there you have it. Three things that are quite dangerous here in Acapulco. Many reasons why young travelers no longer come to Acapulco and some possible fixes to bring them back. Thank you for watching my video to this point. If you got some value out of this video, please consider subscribing and stay tuned. New videos will be coming out on a weekly basis.